was made to worship you, Lord my God. I worship you, my King. Wherever I may be, I look to you, and I worship you in you. Just for your grace abounding, my heart hungers for your perfect presence in this very place. At this very hour, Lord, I worship you and you. to worship you Lord my God I worship you my King wherever I may be I look to you and I worship you and you Just for your grace abounding, my heart hungers for your perfect presence in this very place, at this very hour, Lord, I worship you and you. Salamat po at sama-sama po natin i-recite yung ating pong Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, in Jesus Christ, His Son, our Lord, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Tayo po'y manalangin. Palakpagan muna natin ang Diyos. At damin natin ang kanyang presensya sa ating worship sa umagang ito. Manalangin tayo. Mang banala makapangyarihan sa lahat, yes, O Lord. Dakila ka ang Diyos sa amin, Panginoon. Salamat, Ama, sa pagkakataon ng bawat anak mo upang kami ay magtipon upang magbigay sa iyo ng mataas ng papuri. You are worthy to be praised and adore, O God. Salamat sa umagang ito, Panginoon. na Ikaw, O Lord, ang aming sambahin. Sa lahat na gagamitin mo na lingkod, natatayo sa iyong harapan, Panginoon, kasihan mo sila, Panginoon. Kasihan mo kami, Panginoon. Lalo na, O Lord, sa pagbibigay ng mensahe sa umagang ito, tago mo sa inyong likuran, Panginoon, at Ikaw lamang, O Lord, ang mabigyan ng papuri, Panginoon. Salamat, O Lord, sa lahat na... Uh, naglalakad pa, papunta rito, Panginoon. Gabayan niyo sila, Panginoon, upang kami ay magsama-sama na magpuri sa iyo, Panginoon. Salamat, Ama. Sa umagang ito, patuloy kami na napapasalamat sa iyong kabutihan sa lahat sa mga anak mo, Panginoon. Salamat, Ama, sa umagang ito na patuloy mo kami na binibigyan ng mga uh, lakas. Thank you for all your leading, Panginoon. Thank you for all your financial provision sa bawat anak mo. Patuloy kami nagpapasalamat sa iyo. Lord, sa umagang ito, patawarin mo, ang la- patawarin mo kami, O Lord, sa lahat namin mga kamamalian, Panginoon. Ikaw, O Lord, ang may karapatan na magpatawad sa mga anak mo, Panginoon. Patuloy kami, O Lord. Hello. Salamat, Ama, na 
Aba, patuloy kami na humaharap sa iyo, Panginoon, at humihingi na inyong napatawaran sa lahat, Panginoon. Lord, sa magang ito, uh, patuloy kami, O oh Lord, na humihingi ng guidance mo, Panginoon, sa aming gagawin na panambahan. Panginoon, pagkalooban mo kami ng katalinuhan upang sa ganun, O oh Lord, ay malaman namin ang mga kalooban mo bawat isa sa amin, Panginoon. Bigyan mo kami ng wisdom and knowledge na nagmumula sa iyo. Patatagin mo kami, Panginoon. Bigyan mo kami na ang pananampalataya na matatag na nagmumula sa iyo, Panginoon. Salamat, Ama. Kaya sa umagang ito, Panginoon, we claim for the victory of this worship, Panginoon. Sa umagang ito, we entrust to you everything. We rely on you. And we will always acknowledge you na you are the powerful God in our life. Salamat, Ama. Ito ang aming datangin sa matamis ang pangalan ni Kristo Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Salamat po. Ang sabi po sa aklat ng awit, sumigaw sa galak ang mga nilalang at purihin ang Diyos na may kagalakan. Wagas na papuri sa kanya ibigay, awitan siya at luwalatiin siya. Amen. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoong Diyos. Ayan, mag- Uy, oh, wow. Ayan, magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Amen. Misan po, ah, uh, So umaga po nito, uh, can we just acknowledge the presence of the Lord in our midst? Can we just give Him a round of applause? Papulihan natin ang ating Panginoon na kay tapat, kay dakila, makapangyarihan, at ever gracious for all of us. So we've encountered His grace all throughout the week in many forms and in many manners. So for this morning, we use these experiences to lift up the Lord. Amen! Amen. We are blessed that we have joy. Not some sort of temporary joy, superficial joy, but the joy that is everlasting, the joy that is genuine and true because we know, because we know that God is with us. So regardless of the pain, We are joy. We have joy. Amen. So Lord, this morning, receive our praise. Come on, church. We clap our hands higher. We turn it all around. Where I was hurting, now I'm rejoicing. In your love I found that I have joy. Oh, oh, oh. morning into dancing I can smile again cause I have joy Whoa. let let the celebration begin make a joyful noise unto him come on everybody let's give him praise for he is good you have given me a joy that won't stop So I will praise you with gladness for you are joy. We sing you have. You have given me a joy that won't stop and will never leave. So I will praise you with gladness for you are good. Listen, Bob. Given me a joy that won't stop and will never leave. So I will grace you with, oh Lord, for you are good. Come on, church. We give the Lord the highest praise. Lord, turn it on. Turn it all around When I was hurting I was rejoicing In the love I found That I have joy Oh, oh. You took away 
my pain, even my sickness. You turn my morning into dancing. I can smile again. Cause I have joy. Let the celebration begin. Make a joyful noise unto him. Come on, everybody. Let's give him praise, for he is good. You have given me a joy that won't stop and will never leave. So I will praise you with gladness, for you are good. You have given me a joy that won't stop and will never leave. So I will. Praise you with gladness for you. Listen, back. church, come on. You have given me a joy that won't stop and will never leave. So I will praise you with gladness for you. We declare, you have given me a joy that won't stop and will never leave. So I. I will bless you with gladness, for you are good. This word says that sorrow may the pain may last for a night, but the joy of the Lord will always come in the morning, in the rhythm morning. So pagsigat ng araw, we are ensured that the joy of the Lord will grace upon us. Our sorrow will be turned into celebration. You turn my sadness hey, into gladness. You turn my sorrow into joy. And now I'm singing and I'm dancing. And I will shout for joy. Sadness into gladness. You turn my sorrow into joy. And now I'm singing, and I'm dancing, and I will shout for joy. Sadness into gladness, sorrow into joy. And now I'm singing, and I'm dancing, and I will shout for joy. You have given me a joy that won't stop. So I will praise you with gladness for you are your good Lord. You have given me a joy that won't stop and will never leave. So I will praise you with gladness for you. Listen, my church. Oh, you have given me a joy that won't stop. And will never leave, so I will praise you with gladness, for you are good, for you are good, for you are good, for you are good. For you are good. above all things His love endures forever Sing praise Sing praise Give thanks Give thanks to the Lord our God and King His love endures forever For He is good He is above all things His love endures forever Sing praise, receive a praise. Sing praise, sing praise, sing praise. Forever, God is faithful. Forever, 
We know that you're working wonders as we pray, as we sing, as we listen to your word. We know that you are working miracles in our midst, in our family, in our church, in our ministry. Oh God, nisan pa Panginoon na itanggapin niyo po ang aming alay na papuri at pagsamba, pasasalamat at kadakilaan, tangi ikaw lamang karapat dapat sa lahat ng ito. And we do this in the powerful name of Jesus, our Savior, our Lord, our King, our Friend, our Constant. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Salamat po sa ating pong, uh, masarap na pag-awit sa ating pong Panginoon. Sa araw po na ito, tayo po ay manalangin bago po natin painggan ang salita ng Diyos sa pagkakataon na ito. Um, kausapin po natin ang Panginoon personally sa Kanya na ihanda ng Lord yung puso. Isipan natin sa paikinig ng salita ng Diyos. Let's pray. Panginoon, minsan pa po kami lumalapit sa inyo sa umaga pong ito. Sa pagkakataon na kami ay narito sa inyong tahanan. Lord, hindi po ito aksidente na narito kami na maikinig muli ng iyong mga salita. Lord, through your word, dawa ay patuloy na mabuksan yung aming mga spiritual na tainga, yung aming mga spiritual na mga mata, nang sa gayon ay makita namin ang tuwiran, ang kalooban mo. Through your words this morning, Lord God. Salamat o Diyos sa pagkakataon na ito. Patuloy kami nagpapalinis sa inyo sa aming puso at isipan, Panginoon. Ano man yung mga bagay na hindi karapat-dapat sa aming pong buhay, Lord, patawarin mo kami. At nawa, Panginoon, sa umaga pong ito, sa pamagitan ng iyong salita, ay minsan pang palakasin ang aming pong spirito. Minsan pang i-restore yung aming pong pananampalataya sa inyo, Lord God. Salamat o Diyos sa pagkakataong ito. Nawa ang kapangyarihan mong maranasan ng bawat isa po sa aming Panginoong katagumpayan sa paikinig ng iyong mga salita ang aming pong maranasan. Sa iyo po namin ipinagkakatiwala ang lahat. Ito pang aming panalangin sa matamis sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Palakpakan po natin ng Panginoon at tayo po makarinig muli ng salita ng Diyos. Kumuni po. Today, Solomon, Solomon title. So, let's read the first, uh, first verse. Hosea chapter 12, yes po. Pakibasa po, 1, 2, 3, go. Next. Amen. Yes, Paul. Today's text shows us God's anger, Paul. Why? This is Pimuna, Paul. Anyway, today's text shows us God's anger. Hosea chapter 12, verse 32, 40. Let's read it together. Even Paul says, Paul. Hosea chapter 12, 13 to 14. Ah, yes, Bo. Paki Pasai, Bo, 1, 2, 3. Ah, so, no, no, no. 13, yes, Bo. Okay, let's read it together. 1, 2, 3, go. Next, one more ball. Mm. The prophet, the prophet in verses, salty leper to Moses who brought Israel up from Egypt, click. Ah, yes, ball. So, a prophet, he was guarded, indicated Hosea. Sinopo, it protector. See? 
무엇에서 프로세팅 이용 호세아보 따와보 예스보 넥스트 바퀴 아노 아노 케이션보 Why does God angry? 이용 따갈로보 원투드리고 바퀴 갤리티 앙 디오스 Why 보 클릭 God protect Israel through his prophet however the Israelites forgot God's grace and love and worship idol thus God got angry with them as a result clear God decide to repay them for their blood guilt and make them shameful. 19th tempo. Next. Why does righteous God express his anger against unrighteousness and evil sins? That's because God wants to protect us, click, if we live unrighteous, unrighteous and evil lives, we will suffer terribly from the consequence of our sins and die in the end. God expresses his anger when we do evil deed to protect us from worse situation in short, he showed his anger to lead us to blessing, not destruction. Amen. 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 Next. God was angry with the Israelites because they followed Jacob's lifestyle. It teaches us why we should stop self-boasting and insistence. Also, we should stop neglecting another. No one can survive before God's anger. <laughs> Next. Then, what can we do to live a peaceful life according to God's will. Click. Number one, one, two, three, four. Number two, one, two, three, four. Number two, one, two, three, four. Number three, Amen. Amen. Next. Number one, do cutie every day. Amen? Amen. If we read and hear the Bible, if we read and hear the Bible, we should practice peaceful thought, words, and deed according to God's will. Amen? Amen. 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 Next, Hosea chapter 12. 10, verse 10. Let's read it together. 1, 2, 3, go. <laughs> God, kept teach, God kept teaching the spiritual identity of the Israelites and their calling through his word. Click. God, God's word was enough. God's word was enough, but the attention of the Israelites was lacking. They heard God's word, but ignored it. Next, Hosea chapter 8, Verse 12 was upon their 
on p a s s i v e attitude 법. 바퀴바사인 법 원투 드리고. 클릭. They refused God's word and disobey it. Also, they disregarded God's word and live on p a s s i v e lives. 19 d e a p o So next, if we do not take food, we will be weak physically. Likewise, we will fail to fulfill our calling if we disobey God's word in our lives. When we refuse to live by God's word, We will be in. We will be in a spiritual slump, lose our discernment, and experience a spiritual void. 19 d e a p o And one day, one day we will follow worldly pattern, not God's ways. Amen. Okay. 바퀴 바사 님번 넘버 원 원트 드리고 넘버 투 넘버 트리 라스트 예스 버 넥스트 비코즈 비코즈 오브 데 Because of this u n p a i s f u l chance, we will lose all the holy passion, gentle, general, gentle word, and generous action. In the end, we will go against God and p a s s shame in the world. Nineteen, dear boy. Okay, boy. Number five, one, two, three, go. Six. I think they are four. So next, listening to God's word is not enough. We should value God's grace that make us understand us understand God's word. God's word r e p r e s s e our intelligence and lead us to have sound and light, so nothing can be more important than understand God's word. Amen. Amen. After understanding. After understanding God's word, we can think, speak, and act according to God's will. It is the process of holy transformation. Without understanding God's word, we cannot make any painful change in our lives. Next, we pay attention to. Updated information in this world. However, we tend to show low interest in listening to God's voice. We are empathic and sensitive to what our friend tell us. However, we tend to be insensitive to obey God's word. Sadly, many people. Have no interest in God's word. Usually, people have no idea about what God wants them to do. Moreover, people disobey God because of their greed and old lifestyle, not the lack of knowledge of God. Nineteen, dear b o Next,
we can surrender our thought, word, and action to by God bypass. Bypass, we should submit our arrogant thought to God. Without living by God's word, we cannot know who God is. Then without knowledge of God, we cannot expect our peaceful transformation. Unbelievers will be impressed with our holy lifestyle, peaceful thought, word, and action, not with the member of our church members and the church building, it is in how to glorify God so through our past lives. Amen. 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 Next. Okay, verse number two, one, two, three, go. Yes, boy. We should think, speak and act as God wants to us to do, then we can be godly influential evangelists. Amen? Amen. Amen. Next. Your Hosea chapter 12, verse, uh, chapter 12, verse 11, 1, 2, 3, go. Yes, Paul. Next. Gilead was a clay, refuge to protect unintentional sinners. However, clay, it was corrupted and became an evil place. In indicates how terribly the Israelites commit on peaceful deed as a result their clique was no refuge in Israel. They could not take a rest in any place. Next. Gilgal was the clique the first land where the, where the Israelites camped after crossing the river Jordan, after a long period in the wilderness, wilderness, they finally arrived at Gilgal and praised God out of great joy and gratitude. They took 12 stones from the Jordan and laid them in, in Gilgal. Click. They put these 12 memorial stones to remember God's grace throughout their generation. However, they were no joy and gratitude in Gilgal. In Hosea's age, sadly, there was only a superficial sacrifice in Gilgal. Click. Thus, Gilgal lost it is, it, it is mem memorial words and became a useless land like stone heaps on the furrows of the field. Gilgal become meaningless because the Israelites abandoned their faith in God. Therefore, we should love and honor God. 
also we should we should live sincere lives before God. Amen. Amen. Next. In 2008, click. New York Times admitted the mistake it made 48 years ago. They put the long name of one of the musical West Side Story actors. Like them, we should be honest even with a minor issue. It is difficult to be honest all the time. However, we should be honest because God reveals truth and purse in the end. Next. We can practice honesty, honesty in our lives when we meet poor, poor condition. First, we should have an intimate fellowship with God. Second, we should live holy lives like holy God. Third, we should obey God's will. Fourth, we should have a peaceful relationship with God. Amen? Amen. Yes, Bo. Baki Ba Sai Bo wanted to do God one, number one. <laughs> number two. Number three. Number four. Amen. Amen. Last. Number three. Okay, Paki Ba Sai Bo, one, two, three, go. Amen. Amen. When we resolve to live for God, we will experience how God cares for us perfectly. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Hosea chapter 12, verse chapter 12, verse 12. Let's read it together. One, two, three, go. Yes, Bob. Jacob lived a tough life, tough life. However, he, he suffered to seek his life goal, not God's will. Next. For example, he deceived his brother Esau, so Esau attempted to kill Jacob. At the moment Jacob ran away to avoid his death, he walked for he walked hard for forty years to get his beloved wife. He passed was the same as unbelievers lifestyle. Understand understand Paul? Next However, Jacob was changed because he made a covenant with God. Thus, he became God's covenant man, not one of the ordinary human beings. He could ask God to obey God's will and focus on fulfilling He's calling for God's glory. God took care of his entire life. Next. Peacefully, God remembers Jacob and led him to come to bed in the end. Jacob took a Long time to be at battle, but became to God's covenant man after his 
transformation, Jacob lived the changed life as the covenant man. Amen. Next, all champions members, God is patient, but set the schedule. We have no idea until God's waiting, waiting, wait for our return. Thus, we should resolve to abandon Jacob's lifestyle and return to God right now. Now is the best time to return to God. Amen? Amen? Jacob did not need to waste many years moving from Patan Aram to Bethel. He took long years because he did not resolve to do it. Next. We sh should resolve to obey God's will in our lives from now on. Then we will see how God opened our next step. Amen? Amen. 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 Next. Summarize book. Back by step one to the go. I know I'm adding Kagawa. Number one. Number three. Amen. Conclusion. All GMPC members, but we need to do QT because QT can help us read the Bible every day. We can think, speak, and act as God wants us to do by reading the Bible. Amen? Amen. Next. We can make changes in our lives when we listen to God's voice. We should think, speak, and act as God wants us to do. Then we can be godly influencer, evangelist. Amen. Amen. Last. We should resolve to obey God now, not later. When we dissolve to live for God, we will experience how God cares for us perfectly. Amen? Let's pray. Our Lord, you take care of our lives. Please guide us to think, speak, and act according to we, your will when we dissolve to live God's praising lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Salamat po. At ang salita po ng Diyos ay tuwiran sa umaga po nga to. At accept po natin yung salita ng Diyos para po ito sa ikabubuti ng bawat isa po sa atin. Amen po. Tayo po lahat ay tumayo at minsan po po nating uh, pasalamatan ng Diyos sa pagkakataon na ito sa pamagitan ng ating pong pagkakaloob ng ating mga tithes and offering. Paunahan po tayo ni Brother Melchor for our offering pray. Manalangin po tayo mga kapatid. Amang banal na makapangyarihan sa lahat. Muli po kami dumudulog sa harapan na mayroong pagpakumbaba at pasalamat Panginoon o Diyos. Panginoon, maraming maraming salamat sa oras at umagang ito. Muli na kung saan umama Kami nagtipon-tipon upang kayo ay sambahin, dakilahin at papurihan, Panginoon o Diyos. Panginoon, maraming maraming salamat sa salita at ibanggilyo na amin narinig o Diyos. Panginoon, iukit niyo po sa aming mga puso at isipan upang ito, Panginoon, ay magiging gabay sa aming buhay sa araw-araw, Panginoon. Lord, pangunahan niyo po kami sa lahat ng aming mga gawain. Kung nasaan lang kami naroroon, patuloy niyo po sana kami gabayan at patnubayan, O Diyos. 
Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa pag-ibig at pagmamahal na patuloy niyo pong ipinapadama sa amin, O Diyos. Panginoon, maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa salita mo, Panginoon, Ibanghilyo na aming narinig, O Diyos. Lord, sa oras na ito, Panginoon, Amin din pong taos po sa salamatan ng isang linggo na nakalipas o Diyos sa patuloy niyo po pagbibigay ng biyaya sa bawat isa sa amin o Diyos. Panginoon, nararapat lamang Panginoon o Diyos na ito aming ibabalik sa iyo dahil ito Ama ang iyong pangako na kami lamang ang nagbibigay at isa yung isusuli mo ng sisikliglig abang wala kami Panginoon mapaglagyan o Diyos. Panginoon, purihin po kayo sa patuloy niyo po pagbibigay sa amin ng biyaya Lord, uh, pagpalaan niyo po, Ama, ang bawat kamay na nag-abot ng kanilang kaloob, pagmamahal sa inyo, O Diyos. Nawa, O Diyos, ito gamitin ng Panginoon upang sa ikaunlad ng aming gawain sa simbahang ito, O Diyos. Panginoon, maraming maraming salamat, O Diyos, sa lahat-lahat ng biyaya niyo po na ipinagkaloob niyo po sa amin. Again, ang hindi man, Panginoon, makapagbigay, patuloy niyo po sila pagpalain, Ama, upang sa susunod, O Diyos, sila, Panginoon, ay makapagbigay din ng, inyong, ng, ng kanilang kaloob, Panginoon, O Diyos. Lord, maraming maraming salamat sa lahat-lahat ng kabutihan niyo po. Isang oras na ito, O Diyos, taos po sa labing niya dalangin. At binabalik namin ang lahat ng papurian, ang taos po sa salamat sa iyong banal, dakila at patamis na pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. I hope you are opening to be sincere like to small copper coin of a poor widow. Please control our heart to do opening with the with the pace in the in this name we pray. Amen. Amen. Salamat po. At ay po ay dako sa ating po announcement for this morning. Nasabi po sa ating po announcement number one. Uh, let's do cute every day to know God and live our lives according to His teaching. Say amen po. Yun po yung number one na sinabi po kanina sa ating pong message. And then number two, um, let's continue to do yung ating pong 50 pesos uh, construction offering. So yung construction offering po natin na uh, mayroon na pong budget balance po siya na 
65,166. So please pray for the budget for painting yung outside po and changing yung ating po mga tile. So let's continue to do yung 50 pesos construction offering weekly together. Amen po ba? So patuloy po natin natapos na po yung uh, repainting sa loob. Yung target naman po ay yung, yung repainting sa labas at saka po yung ating pong tiles dito po sa taas. So yun po. And then number uh, three sa ating pong announcement. Yan, worship prayer meeting po natin. Yan po yung mga scheduled prayer meeting po natin sa ating church. Sunday school, uh, 9 a.m. And cutie meeting sa mga high school student every Sunday 2 p.m. mamaya. And youth fellowship every Sunday 4 p.m. QT meeting sa elementary, ito po ay plan pa lamang po. So, this coming June na po. So, sana po ay tuloy-tuloy para sa mga bata. And then, midweek prayer meeting every Wednesday, 7.30pm. And yung parents prayer meeting sa lahat ng mga magulang, uh, 2pm po every ter- Thursday. So, sama-sama po natin uh, suportahan yung mga uh, gawain ng ating pong simbahan. And then, next po, Uh, God hears our prayer, nothing in vain in prayer. So let's gather and pray together. Amen po ba? So ang, ang salita ng Diyos, yung, kanyang, yung panalangin ng bawat isa po sa atin ay makapangyarihan po. So huwag po natin kakaligtaan na manalangin every week. Amen po sa ating po mga prayer meeting. So ngayon po meron pong um, birthday uh, ng ating pong senior member. Nandiyan ba si Tata Jose? Ngayon, si Tata Jose pwede po dito sa harapan. Tsaka po yung, po yung mga nag-birthday ngayong week. Yan, si Kayla. Sino pa po? Sister Emelda. Pwede po dito sa harapan. Meron pa po ba? Nagpa-birthday. May. Si Nanay Rose. Pwede po dito sa harap. Tayo po kayo. Para makita po kayo ng mga members. Yan, sige po. Huwag po kayong mahiya. Saka si Kaya Loren. <laughs> Ay, Tata Jose. Ngayon pa po magpa-birthday ng May. sa kanila happy birthday one two three isa po sa inyo. So, mga this week at saka sa mga susunod na week po yung may mga birthday po for this month of May. Pagpalain po kayo ng Panginoon. So, yun lamang po. Wala na po iba pang announcement. Tayo po lahat ay tumayo at sama-sama po natin uh, i-recite yung ating pong congregational uh, prayer statement ng sabay-sabay. Sige po. Number one, um, welcome po muna natin pala yung ating pong bagong dalo. Yung friend po ni Ate Sheila, si Mac Dennis Pabia. Palakpaan po natin ang Diyos sa buhay po niya. Welcome po sa Grace and Peace Church. Sige po, let's recite our congregational uh, prayer statement. Sige po, number one. Panginoon, ipinagkakatiwala po namin sa iyo ang aming bansa. Ikaw po ang nagtatakda ng lahat ng bagay. Bigyan mo po ng katatagan ang aming mga pinuno sa bansang ito upang magkaroon sila ng karunungan kung ano ang gagawin sa lahat ng sitwasyon. Naway pagpalain mo po ang aming bansa. Amen. Panginoon, kahit may kinakaharap na pagsubok ang aming bansa dala ng pandemya, naikita po namin ang pagkilos at biyaya mo. Salamat po sa pandemyang ito dahil ginigising mo po ang lahat ng tao na tumawag sa iyo at magtiwala lamang sa iyo. Amen. Panginoon, pagpalain mo po ang bawat miyembro at pamilya ng aming simbahan. Patuloy mo pong ipakita sa bawat isa sa amin ang iyong pag-ibig, habag, biyaya at katarungan. Nawayakapin po namin ang iyong pag-ibig sa twina. Amen. Panginoon, salamat po at dinala mo ang bawat isa sa amin sa iglesyang ito 
upang sama-sama kaming magpuri at sumamba sa iyo. Patuloy mo po ang gamitin ng iglesyang ito upang maging pagpapala sa marami. Amen. Panginoon, nagpapasalamat po kami sa buhay ng aming pastor, missionary at ministers. Pinagkakatiwala po namin sa iyo ang kanilang buhay. Patuloy ka pong magari sa kanila at puspusin mo po sila ng iyong banal na spirito sa lahat ng kanilang ginagawa. Amen. Tayo po ay sama-samang umawit ng the Lord's Prayer. Sa atin. See you po mamaya sa mga young people 4pm.